Hello everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys our nighttime routine. It's a bit crazy and it gets changed quite often with three little kids as you could imagine, but I'll give you the gist of it, you know? Um, it is 4.35. I just got home from picking up my youngest and then I had to run back out and pick up my oldest, not my youngest, but my youngest in school. And then I just got him back from picking up my oldest. Um, we're definitely having a crock pot meal today, so I'll show you that in a minute. And my sink is full again, so typically, I'm not getting started this late. Today has been an off day. Typically, I wash dishes in between picking up my two kids because I picked them up an hour apart, but today has just been whew, an off day. So, I'm going to probably start making some cornbread and wash these dishes. My husband did get home at a decent time today, so that's awesome. And he's gonna hang out with the kids for me, which I don't always have that luxury, but today I do. Oh yeah, you gotta pull one off first. You can rip it if you can't get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, okay, well try not to stand near you ready? I'll point and you count. You want to do that? Hold on, hold on. So during the Christmas season, every day, as soon as everybody's home from school, we always tear our chains, count how many days are left, change our countdown, and then we open our advent calendar. And this is just something that the kids love. And I love doing it with them. I feel like it really helps them with learning how to count as well and number recognition. So yeah, that's our like little daily Christmas routine. So as I mentioned earlier, we did a crock pot meal today. I went ahead and recorded that for you guys to include in this video, just so you guys can see what I made. So we have some deer meat that my father had gave us. So that's what I'm using. And it's basically just a, um, oh my goodness, what is it called? stew but we used the deer meat and then I put some everglades and paprika a whole onion and two potatoes now I would normally put more than that however we are on our last week before we do our grocery haul and that's all we had left so that's what I used and then I filled it up with beef broth. I like to make sure that the meat and the potatoes are nice and covered. And then I actually had this chili seasoning packet and I wasn't sure if I should use it, but I said, you know what, why not? Let's just put it in there. So that's what I did. All right, y'all. So this is what it's looking like. I completely went out on a whim with the chili seasoning, but we are about to do our monthly grocery haul. So we are scraping our cabinets clean at the moment. So that's what I have. This is what I did. And I have these that I'm going to add in uh, probably halfway through. And I also have this corn that I'm going to add in probably halfway through. So now I'm finally getting to the cornbread. So I just figured I'd share with you guys how I make our cornbread. I just used the Jif corn mix and I put some honey in there, some butter, some milk and the eggs. I, I believe it calls for the milk and eggs. I add the honey and the butter. I mix it all up and I make corn muffins with it. So 
while the cornbread is going, I'm going to go ahead and get these dishes going since I have the privilege of not having to attend to our kids as much because hubby's playing with them. I like to try to keep up with the dishes. There's nothing I don't like more than waking up in the morning with dishes in the sink. And yes, sometimes that happens. Sometimes we eat so late that I just don't have time to clean the dishes up. And then it makes me feel like my next day is just starting off on a wrong foot. So I love trying to make sure all the dishes are done before we go to bed. Now that the oven is preheated. I actually forgot to preheat the oven, so I was waiting for the oven to preheat, but it's preheated now and we can get going. At least we're still like early and I finished the dishes, still waiting on the cornbread, so now I'm going to pick up. <music> All right, so I figured I will show you guys what I grabbed at Walmart today. So I stopped at Walmart on my way to go get my younger son from school. So I picked up some trash bags, y'all. It seems like I ran out of all the necessities all at the same day. I grabbed some cleaner and I grabbed this Christmas story book. This is going to go in our Christmas Eve Um tote i don't do individual boxes because there's so many of them and you know we do it all as a family anyway so i do a tote and i grabbed some laundry detergent and some dish soap and i completely skipped over these pj bottoms i found for three dollars these were like a uh, black friday pj thing and they had them clarenced so i went ahead and grabbed that <music> While I was showing you guys what I got from Walmart, the muffins got done. And so now it's time to make plates. And of course, at this time, my youngest decided he had to have mommy. No matter what, he wanted mommy. So I ended up making plates with him, which turned out fine. Um, hubby usually does help with making plates. I don't know what he was doing this night, but yeah, he didn't even really want to be in the camera anyway but yes please don't think that he does not help he does help tremendously he was just doing a lot of stuff behind the camera for me this night So here is what dinner looks like. I always like separated a little bit for the kiddos. It was super good. I was actually surprised at how good it turned out. So awesome sauce. And now I'm going to do some quick cleaning real quick. I'm about to go take my shower, but I just want to make sure I get everything cleaned up real fast before I run up there. And of course, I'm multitasking. I'm supposed to be hopping in the shower, but of course, I'm getting the kids' clothes out for tomorrow. I'm getting their PJs out and having everything ready. I find our mornings go so much better when I already have everything I need out and ready for me. And I actually just take everything downstairs and it's waiting for me in the morning because that's where the kids get dressed. And this is me prepping for when the kids get out of their bath. This is where they come to dry off and get into their PJs. 
And so now I'm done and I figured I'll show you guys what I usually do when I get out the shower. I have this face cream that I use. It's Garnier Green Labs. I had gotten it for free with couponing and so I've been using it ever since. And then I also put a leave-in conditioner in my hair. And yes, y'all, let's completely ignore how bloated I am this night. <laughs> So here's a close-up of the face cream that I used and the leave-in conditioning spray. Now, I usually don't use a spray. Usually, I use this for a touch-up. However, my conditioner was downstairs, and I just used this real quick because it's what was convenient to me. So now the kids are all bathed and clean and at the end of the night, right before we're about to put all the kids to bed, we all work together to pick up anything laying around on the floor. We watered a Christmas tree and we just get everything where it belongs. I am also working on my two-year-old to teach him how to clear the table of his own plates instead of leaving it behind. So he's doing really well with that. And this is just how I stay sane. I, it helps us wake up the next day on a good foot. And then right before we go upstairs for the night, I brush all the kids' teeth. Me and my husband, we actually like do an every other night thing. Like I do it one night, he does it the next night because it's one of the things that we both just, you know, don't look forward to doing, but that's what we do. And after this, my camera died. But really after this, we just go upstairs, we read the kids a book, and we rock them to sleep, and that's our night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and as always, continue simply living your best life. Bye-bye.